right, what is up, guys? Uh, this video is going to be me predicting the record for every team in the AFC. You know, you got the AFC logo right there. You got Patrick Mahomes because he fucking owns the AFC. So, yeah, that is what this video is going to be. To figure out the record for each team, I went on a website called playoffpredictors.com. Link is in the description. You just go game by game on each team's schedule and pick for them to win or lose. And did that for every team. And that's how I got the records for each team. NFC video is going to come out in a two or three days, maybe. I'm going to work on that. But, yeah, this is the AFC video, so fucking deal with it. Uh, yeah, so let's get right into this video. This is probably going to piss some fame bases off. But, you know what? I don't care if I hate your team. I hate your team. There's nothing I could fucking do about that. We're going to start out with the AFC North, arguably the best division in the NFL. And sorry, Browns, you guys are going to be finishing last. You know, someone has to finish last in this division. I think it's going to be you guys. Um, you still have a really good team. You have one of the best defenses in the league. You got uh, Miles Garrett, the defensive player of the year. But you guys did get a little bit lucky last year with that Joe Flacco fucking little insanity run. Um, that's not going to be duplicated with the Sean Watson, I don't think. Also, fuck you guys for having the Sean Watson. I have you guys finishing with a 9-8 and record. And then finishing third in the AFC North, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're going to finish above 500 no matter what. It's the Steelers. They moved on from Kenny Pickett. They got Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. Both, in my opinion, are better than Kenny Pickett. So you already have an upgrade there. Uh, you have George Pickens on the offensive side of the ball. You're building up that offensive line, and you still have one of the best defenses in the league with T.J. Watt and uh, Alex Highsmith. Joey Porter could be really good next year. Minka Fitzpatrick. I have the Steelers finishing 10-7 and and sneaking in as a wild card. And then second in the AFC North, I don't have the Bengals. I have the Baltimore Ravens. And, yeah, you guys have the reigning MVP in Lamar Jackson. You still have one of the best defenses in the league, Roquan Smith. I miss you, Roquan. Um, yeah, um, you finished 12-5 and five last year. I have you guys finishing 11-6, one game worse. Your schedule is a little bit tougher. And you guys are playing in a really tough division. So what the fuck you want me to do? 11-6. and six. And then – Finishing first, we have the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, Joe Burrow is going to come back. You still have that Burrow-Chase connection, one of the best quarterback-wide receiver combos in the league. Um, you did lose Jonah Williams on that offensive line, but I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue. You know, you have T. Higgins and Trey Hendrickson that kind of want out, but, I mean – I think the Bengals are still going to be a really good football team, finishing 11-6. and six. It, I don't think they're going to have problems at all. They had Jake Browning starting for them at quarterback in the later half of the year, and they still finished 9-8. and eight. So with Burrow, that's two more wins. Now we are on to the AFC East, finishing last. I don't think this is a surprise at all. We have New, the New England Patriots finishing 3-14. They could be better than 3-14. and 14. I think it kind of depends on how good Drake May ends up being. You know, he could either be really good or he could be a rookie quarterback. And I think he's going to be a rookie quarterback. So the Pats, I think, are going to struggle a little bit. The defense could be good. They were pretty solid last year, but um, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't trust the Patriots right now. They got a new head coach. They still have a lot of shit to figure out. So I have them finishing 3 and 14. And then we got the New York Jets right after that. Finishing 7 and 10. And I know, oh, Aaron Rodgers, oh, he, he's coming back. The Jets should make the playoffs, but they haven't made the playoffs since 2010. So I really fucking doubt that the Jets are going to find a way to fuck it up somehow. Just watch. Um, yeah, 7 and 10. Same record they had last year. Uh, the defense, I think, is still going to be really good, but I don't think it's going to be good enough for them to be competitive, I guess. I think the Jets are going to fuck it up somehow. I don't care. The Jets are going to jet. And then 
Finishing second in the AFC East, we have the Buffalo Bills, okay? With with an eight and nine record. And I know I know Bills, you guys have made the playoffs what four straight years now, and I have you guys missing the playoffs now. What's up with that? You lost Stefan Diggs. You did draft Keon Coleman, but I'm not sure how good he's going to end up being. Who knows? Um, you guys lost a lot of pieces on your defense. Tredavious White is gone. You you uh, released Jordan Poyer. The secondary, I think, is going to struggle a lot next year. And that Von Miller contract looks fucking worse and worse by the day. The Bills might have to do some retooling next offseason because I'm not sure how good this roster is going to end up being eight and nine. I don't think Josh Allen is going to be able to carry this team to the playoffs. I just, I just don't think that's going to be possible. And that leaves us with the Miami Dolphins finishing first in the AFC East. Um, one simple thing to uh, Tyreek, that is what, th- that's what is going to make this team good. They were really good last year. They blew it at the end for the Bills to come back from behind and win the division. But I don't think that's going to happen this year. I have them finishing 12-5. and five. The defense has the potential to be good um, if uh, Bradley Chubb stays healthy. And, uh, yeah, who I know they lost Christian Wilkins, but I don't think it's going to be the end of the world for them. So 12-5 and five for the Miami Dolphins. They'll probably lose in, like, the divisional round or something. You know, we'll we'll see. Now, moving on to the AFC South, everyone's favorite division. Uh, finishing last, we have the Tennessee Titans. And I would definitely wouldn't be surprised if the Titans do make the playoffs, though. They could be a sleeper team, kind of depending on how good Will Levis is in year two. Uh, they, they got some pieces on that offense. They have Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Hopkins. They lost Eric Henry, but they replaced him with Tony Pollard, who was pretty good for the Cowboys. They invested in that offensive line with Peter Skaronsky and J.C. Latham. So the Titans' offense could be good next year, but um, I have them finishing 6-11. and 11. Not sure how good that defense is going to be. Not sure how good um, their new head coach is going to be. I really liked Mike Vrabel, but he's gone now. So 6-11. and 11. For the Tennessee Titans, they're finishing last in the AFC South. And then we got the Indianapolis Colts finishing third. The Colts, they, they almost made the playoffs last year with Gardner Minshew at the helm. And I think Minshew did a pretty good job. Um, they have Anthony Richardson coming in now. Um, he got hurt his rookie year, but um, he flashed some potential in the uh, few reps he got. And... Uh, I, th- I think he's going to be an up-and-down season for Anthony Richardson. Um, the offense still needs, I think, maybe a piece or two outside of Michael Pittman. The wide receiver core isn't really anything special. Josh Downs could be good, though. Who, who knows? Um, he could have a year or two leap. But, yeah, um, I have the Colts finishing 7-10. and 10. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they made the playoffs, though, because they were close to doing that last year. But um, I'm going to side... Uh, with the side of caution or whatever, and just give the Colts a 7-10 and 10 record. And now we got the Jacksonville Jaguars finishing second. I have them finishing 9-8 and eight for a third year in a row. Um, the Jaguars are just kind of in limbo for me. They didn't really improve too much. They didn't really decline too much. The Jaguars are just the Jaguars. Um, I think Trevor Lawrence is going to have a pretty good year, but also um, the team I have finishing first, I think is going to be a lot better than the Jacksonville Jaguars. And that team is the Houston Texans. I think CJ, uh, CJ Stroud has a really good chance to finish as the NFL MVP. I think he's going to be even better in year two. He has a shit ton of weapons. He has Nico Collins, Tank Dell, now Stefan Diggs. The defense made some strides last year. I I wouldn't be surprised if the Texans make it to the AFC Championship. The, the Texans are going to be really fucking good next year. Just watch. And now the last division we'll be talking about. The AFC West finishing last. I have the Denver Broncos. And 
to be honest, the Broncos did overseed expectations last year, especially after f- the, the fucking start of the season they had with that fucking 70 to 20 loss to the fucking Dolphins. Holy shit. They look like the worst team in the fucking league. But um, I think this time they're probably going to be one of the worst teams in the league. Um, I have a finishing 3 and 14. Um, the starting quarterback next year is between Bo Nix and uh, fucking Zach Wilson. So. Let's see how well that fucking goes for them. Outside of Cortland Sutton, not really much to write home about the wide receiver room. You know, they got rid of Jerry Judy. The defense is okay, I guess. Kind of depends how they're doing that day. Patrick Sertain's good, though. Uh, 3-14 for the Broncos. I don't really like the Broncos that much, I'll be honest. You know... The Bears, they're the real blue and orange team, not the Broncos. Who the fuck do they think they are, huh? Fuck you, Denver. All right, so finishing third in the AFC West, I have the Los Angeles Chargers with a 6-11 and record. You know, they have Justin Herbert, um, and that's pretty much it on the offense. That is pretty much it. Um, the wide receiver core, you know, they got rid of Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, so not anything there. They lost Austin Eckler. The defense is pretty bad, especially that secondary. So I think it's going to take some time for Jim Harbaugh to turn around the Los Angeles Chargers. So I have him finishing with a 6-11 and 11 record. And then finishing second in the AFC West, we got the Las Vegas Raiders. And I actually have him finishing with a 9-8 and eight record. And I think Gardner Minshew is going to be... Uh, a pretty good quarterback for the Raiders. I think he's probably going to end up being the starter over Aiden O'Connell. You still got Devontae Adams. You st- oh, they, they lost Josh Jacobs, never mind. But, I mean, I think they're still going to have some success <laughs> running the football. And you still got Max Crosby on that defense, and you just added Christian Wilkins. So I think the Raiders are still going to have a pretty good season. And then... Uh, not really a fucking surprise at all. Finishing first and winning the AFC West, we got the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, I have a finishing with a 13-4 record. They're fucking, they're the Super Bowl champions, back-to-back. They might be the first team that went three straight Super Bowls, okay? Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, you know, Rasheed Rice is in some bit, bit, he's in some trouble, you know, but, um, you know, they still got uh, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown, they just drafted a wide receiver in Xavier Worthy. He could be the next Tyree Kill, hopefully not. The defense is still really good with Chris Jones on there. It's the Chiefs. And yeah, here are the final standings I have for the AFC. And yeah, what is your opinion on this, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Not sure how accurate this is going to be in a year after the season. Um, It's probably not going to be accurate at all. But, hey, I might get some of them right. We'll see. We'll see what the fuck happens. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Next video is going to be the NFC version of this.